Good. 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 The visual stimulation. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Loosen it up, another breath in through your nose. Your mouth through your mouth. And out. Good. 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 Oh. Let the hips come up. Good. Oh. Hold on, one more. There's one more in there. Good. Breathe out. Good. Okay, lay on your back. Do a PI on the left. So I'm gonna bring the hips down like that, and then we'll push in that direction again. Okay. Pull this forward just a little bit. Okay, breathing in and out. Good shoulders come back. Up. Oh, there it goes already. There's a little more. Good, let that out. Good. Good, one more time. Good, there we go. Up. Go ahead and close your eyes. You don't need to look at anything right now. Take out the visual stimulation. As you can tell, I'm laterally flexing the head, rotating it towards me, and then the slight pull for the adjustment. There we go. And how was that? Amazing. For me? Okay. Start off, we're coming up to the T1 junction here. Get this nice adjustment in. Good. Good. And we'll go right through the thoracic spine here. So what I'm going to have you do, take a deep breath in and blow it all the way out. Ooh. One more time, deep breath in, blow it all the way out. Perfect. So what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you lay on your side and face me please. Have you bend this top leg? Good. Have you come a little bit closer to me here? Good. We can set this arms right there. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. And that neck. Right here, sorry, on the base of her occiput. From here, we're going to traction out in the y-axis. Once she is to tension, that's when we do a slight pull as a thrust. There we go. Um, roughly between T3 to about C6, this area is uh, where a lot of people tend to hold a lot of that tension. So we're going to come in here. This left side is a little bit tighter than the right, so what we're gonna do, just relax. Good. Got a little bit of movement here. Actually, already just that little bit, I feel that that muscle not as not as tight, which is a good thing. Okay. Now on the other side, it's a little bit lower, more towards that T3 area. Good. Like this, if you want to come in, deep breath in and let it all out. Good. One more time, deep breath in, let it all out. Perfect. Okay. Now this one, I just want you to turn on your side and face me. Great. Perfect. 
lay flat. Work on the knee, the hip, and that lumbar spine. So we get a nice pull in through here. I felt that move. <laughs> Dressing her cervical spine. What I do in here is, is I check everything for symmetry. So I do lateral flexion on either side. Now I go down each segment and I just like to feel how each segment moves compared to the other side. So not only do we do a lateral flexion, you know, I'll go through and do a rotation on each side and just really feel the joint play. Put your hands on top of mine just like that. Okay, we'll bring your necklace around. All right, so what, like how my hands are, how my fingers are crossed. Okay. Put your hands literally over my hands like that. Yep. Like interlock your fingers. Good. So with this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring you down. Squeeze your elbows together, as tight as you can. Good. Got a little. Great. That side didn't want to go. Keep exhaling. There you go. Just keep breathing. That's it. There we go. Good. Okay. And there we go. Okay. He's got a lot of muscle spasm today, so he's very, very hypertonic. But we're going to work on that right now. Don't worry, I don't have any heads on my trophy wall yet. I won't start with yours. <laughs> This is rare that y'all get to see me adjust in a really serious first time severe chronic pain patient that's been dealing, how long been dealing with this, how many years, eight years? About eight years. Put your hands right here on your tummy, there you go. Now just let your head go in my hands as if you're sleeping. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Oh yeah. Let me have your whole leg here, just let it go. Oh, now you should have felt that in your knee all the way up in your back, did you? Oh, yes. All right. Oh, we have all these sound effects. Okay, you got to be quiet because they love hearing the crap. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's, let's head from here up and then exhale from here and then push it all the way up to your solar plexus. The best way to learn how to breathe properly is to get into martial arts. That's where I learned how to breathe properly and you get power from that too. See his reflexes are both functional on both sides. So what I'm getting ready to do now, Noe, is I'm going to wrap this wet towel around your skull and around your chin. So there you go. Now lay your head right on back. And I want you to take that deep breath through your nose again. Keep your teeth together. Let all your out now and just relax. There you go. There you go. Now you should have felt that all the way down, did you? Deep breaths for me. Deep breaths. And he's still kicking. There you go. Did you feel this is the same position that I recommend people sleep in? Now he's a little taller, I know, WD-40. He's a little taller than most, so to get his legs elevated a little bit more, I'm going to have you lift your bottom legs up here for me, and I'm going to put this pillow under there. There we go. Does that feel a little more relaxed? Yes. Does that relax your lower back muscles? Good. Okay, so now we've got him parallel with the floor. I'm going to wrap this wet towel around his occiput and his mandible, and everybody's always asking me why I use a wet towel. Deep breath into your nose. Keep your teeth together, let it all the way out. Oh yeah. Do you feel that all the way down, Thomas? Yes. Okay, good. And he's still kicking. Okay, I'll take this up here. Take some, just keep breathing deeply. Now when you have herniated 